How crazy was that groove? That was from the one and only Derek Bennett. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did inside of that one of the 16th note triplet tricks that you can use inside of slap bass. Let's go. So this is a pretty cool technique that you can use inside of your slap routines. You can take it and run with it and do as you will, but you must know the double thumb technique. If you haven't seen that, please go check out that video. I show you everything you need to know about the double thumb, the upstroke and the downstroke of that technique. So first, so I happen to be in the key of D and it works really well because of the open strings that we have to pluck before we play anything. But this works in any key. It doesn't matter. I can do it in E flat. Do it in F sharp. So since I'm in the key of D, I have that open D string and it sounds a little bit more pleasing to the ear when you have a D string, open D string in the key of D instead of an open D string in the key of E flat. Yeah, it sounds a little bit weird, but you get the idea. So here's the lick, here's the technique. So downstroke, hammer. Okay, so that's the first part of the technique. Next part, you go up, upstroke. So I'm hitting C, the key C. So open G, hammer, C on the G string, upstroke, same note. Okay, so that much. And that's it. I mean, seriously, that's it. All you want to do is move this around. I moved it around the pentatonic scale in the beginning. I'm just moving this same exact formation, same exact phrase. But the tricky thing about this technique or about this groove, when you're playing this type of style, you have to be clean, clear, and precise. Like I tell you guys all the time, if you're new here, I'm always saying clean, clear, and clean. Well clean, clear, and precise. I say it so much I mess up on it. But anyway, clean, clear, and precise. You have to be able to have that space in between each one or else you won't get that effect of the... It'll sound like... It, it won't sound right. It won't sound like those 16th note triplets that you want to get out so clean. So in between each of them. So the trick is lifting up your finger just enough so you can get that open string to ring. Obviously, you want to start slow with this. One, two, three, four. Even slower than that, you can take it down to eighth note triplets. One, two, two and three, and a four, and a uh, 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 Okay, it's very, very tricky. The hardest part about this exercise or about this lick is the upstroke. That's the hardest thing about slapping, period. I mean, I get that question all the time. How do I improve that upstroke uh, to, or to get it to sound exactly like the downstroke? But first and foremost, you won't ever get it to sound exactly the same. You'll get it similar as far as dynamics, but you won't ever get the same tone out of that upstroke as you will the downstroke. So just take your time. Know that it will sound just a little bit different. So for the G string, I'm opening, I'm plucking the G, uh, downstroke on the G, hammer, upstroke. So I have a three note pattern. So those are where those triplets come from. Right? And it's even tougher when you're trying to go, you know, warp speed, you know, pretty, pretty fast. You have to be just as, or even more clean than you usually are. So you have to be really, really precise when you're doing this. So one exercise you can do, you can just actually take a metronome. You just take it one, two, a three, and a four, and a, a, a. You can actually work with just those four notes and just kind of practice, not even four notes, if you're in the beginning stages, just the one note. Once you're done with that, and once you're comfortable with that, move it around the fretboard. Ah, now I'm just being silly, but. You no, 
but practice scales with it. Practice not just that exercise, that groove, just practice things, other things that you would normally practice in, in your exercise routine or your practice routine, like a scale. <laughs> It's, it's so tough and it's almost like you have to have that rhythm, that consistent rhythm to actually make it sound clean, clear, and precise. But, and it's a lot harder on the lower strings because of the thicker gauges, so watch out for that too. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully you can take that and run with it. I'll show you some more grooves. If you're interested in more grooves like this, check out the Bass Nation Academy. That's where you want to be. We have tons of slap bass grooves and courses and show you exactly what you need to know if you're in the beginning stages of slap bass so we have courses available check it out for yourself i don't want to talk too much about it uh you guys can check it out and let me know when you get there shoot me a message tell me you're coming from youtube i i actually love hearing that you guys are coming from youtube but anyway and if you guys happen to be new here i am derek bennett obviously derek's bass lessons uh click that red subscribe button what are you waiting for just click the subscribe button click the notification bell icon as well we post every single week new lesson every single week also check out the bass nation academy like i mentioned before make sure you know so come on out clean clear and precise and I'll check you in the next one. Peace.